Welcome to Home with Simone. My name is Simone and as always guys a huge thank you to each and every one of you. I'm on my way to do a walk and I decided I'm going to take you guys with me and show you how I get in up to four hours a day of walking with a purpose. That's kind of the mentality that I have when I go for my walks. It doesn't feel like it's exercise because I'm actually going somewhere. I'm doing something. I'm just choosing to walk there instead of drive or take the bus. But before we do that, I want to share with you guys how I um, wash and organize my vegetables before I actually portion everything out because in my meal prep video, I didn't show you guys this part of it. So let me go ahead and flip this around. So this is what I do. I literally wash everything. Now these little containers are for the cherry tomatoes, which are right here. I put them right back in there. So I wash those and dry it as well. I find that they last longer. I'm actually going to be going to HomeSense today to get containers very similar to the ones I use for my lettuce for my cherry tomatoes. But for now, that's what I have. If I find them, I'll show you guys when I get there or get back home. And then over here, I've just got everything else that I washed. What I do with my lettuce, any of my leafy greens, I put them in water. And normally with my lettuce, depending on the quality, if I find it looks a little dried, a little dehydrated, I'll keep it in water overnight. This one has been in water for about an hour and a half. It's looking really, really good, nice and lush. So when I get home, I'll probably just strain out the water and go ahead and get it into the fridge. And same thing with my bok choy. They've actually consumed or absorbed, I should say, quite a bit of the water that I had. This was filled almost right up to the top. And uh, I'll take those out. This is what I keep my lettuce in. So half of the lettuce will stay in the one that's over here and the other half is in here. And then the bok choy will go into the freezer. And these two of these will be broken up into small bits. Two of my broccoli will be broken up into small bits like this. And the others will remain whole. And then I do wash my mushrooms very gently and it's always important for me to let them dry before I put them in the fridge. Some of these I will freeze, some I'll put into the fridge because I'm going to be using them tomorrow. So this is what this area looks like right now. This is my kitchen counter, the counter close to the pantry and uh, it's perfect because I'm going to be gone for about two hours. So well that's the goal, we'll see. And when I get back, it'll just be to put these things away. It's a great way for me to continue my movement, but cooling down and continuing to burn calories as I'm still putting things away. Now over here, and guys, it's real life. Don't judge me now, okay? These are my clean dishes that I had put in the sink. This is my spinach. Same thing. I put it all in water and it's nice cold water. And when I get back, a good portion of this water will be absorbed. And then these will go into the freezer. Some in the freezer, some in the fridge. So let's get going. So I'm heading out for my walk now. It is 4.53. And uh, I'll take you guys along the way. I won't show you everything because most of it, we're just outside walking. But I'll kind of give you a little bit of an idea of how I do my walks. And it makes it super easy and enjoyable. So here we go. You're probably wondering, what is this walking with a purpose? Well, if you guys are anything like me, the thought of exercise makes me cringe. I'm going to be quite honest with you. So what I like to do is, if I have to go somewhere, I will walk. And while walking, pay attention to the neighborhood, the trees, the sounds of the birds, you know, the parks, maybe new signs. My mom and I, we are so invested in, in other people's properties, <laughs> watching, you know, them clean up for the spring. And then you see people are doing upgrades on their homes, different things like that. Today, my mom had to get her eyes uh well, her glasses um, done. She was filling a prescription. So we walked there. It took about an hour to get there. And so by the time we got there, this is me here just showing you guys, it's a couple minutes to six. It's really nice to get out, especially on a nice day, you know, go for a walk, get that blood flowing, say hello to our local heroes, and just being able to acknowledge our neighbors. You feel like you're part of a community when you're in the community, and you can do that with a walk. Today was beautiful, just beautiful. A little on the hot side, but not complaining, and this is why I was super thirsty and needed to go get a drink. I forgot my water, but there's no excuse. This is where self-control comes into play. 
Mind you, we've been walking for well over an hour at this point and maybe had a five minute break. When I went into the convenience store at the gas station, there was every temptation you can think about. I decided I was going to treat myself by getting myself one of my favorite waters, which is the Fiji water. We are all responsible and need to take accountability for the decisions we make. Here's my mom having an ice cream. Here I am having a water. I am having a water because I chose to get a water. My mom is having an ice cream because she chose to get an ice cream. At the end of the day, some may think, well, that's not supportive. But we have to remember, it is unreasonable to expect somebody to support us by mirroring or imitating exactly what we are doing. We are all on different journeys. And if my mom wanted an ice cream, it has nothing to do with me making a wise decision. We have to be accountable and we have to make sure that we are not justifying a lapse in judgment based on somebody else's choices or based on where we are. We don't want to make it a situ- a situational decision because that is what affects your ability to really enjoy your life and really get out there. If every time you go out, you're making a poor decision and you're blaming it on the fact that you went out. Then you start feeling restricted. You start feeling like you can't go or do anything because you're going to break the rules or bend the rules. My mom had an ice cream. My biggest treat was home sense. I mentioned in the beginning, I was looking for containers. And so in order to get home, we can take a route where we can pass by the home sense, which is what we did. This is a great opportunity to kind of catch your breath. You know, you don't, you're not sitting, you're still moving. So you're still burning calories. You're still getting the exercise, but you're catching your breath. You're seeing something a little bit different. You're out of the heat, enjoying some air conditioning. And if you have to use the bathroom, there's a washroom here you can use. This is also a great opportunity to do a self-check, reevaluate how you're feeling, your pulse, your heart, your muscles, your bodies, and see If you need to actually sit and give yourself a couple of minutes or if you can still keep going. Now that I got everything I'm looking for and I'll do a mini haul when we get home, it's homebound. I also like to celebrate my small victories. Whether I woke up in the morning and I was half a pound down, whether I made a conscious decision to have water instead of pop or have a salad instead of a burger, Give yourself a pat on the back because all of those decisions that you make, they contribute to healthy habits. And once you do that long enough, it becomes very easy for you to continually make good decisions. I also like to think of my body uh, in the same level that you would treat a car or let's say a house, something that you work really hard for, you've Put in those hours to get that money, to get that thing, that object, and you're not going to destroy it. You're not going to do things to it that's going to wear down or run it down because you work really hard on it. That's the way that I look at my body. I also practiced walking with a purpose earlier on today to go and run some errands and I was gone for about two hours. The great part of doing this is you're not losing any time. You're adding value to your life. You're making your body healthier, stronger and happier. And as I'm walking by and I'm able to enjoy this beautiful sunset, if I was at home, I would not have seen. I really do take that moment to pause and say, Thank you, body, for all you've done. And I promise I will do all I can to take care of you. I will invest in you and I will make you the best version of yourself. And that is a way I really do like to think. And it's a great way to end my walk by reminding myself I am worth it. So we're back and I'm going to flip the camera around and show you guys the time. So here's an additional three hours of exercise and I still was able to get everything I had to do accomplished. So I'm home guys, I'm gonna get inside and then I will show you what I do once I've organized myself. Hi buddy, (laughs) hi girl. This is what it looks like in here now. Like I said, most of the water, a lot of water gets absorbed if you guys remember how it was before I left. This is the spinach and let's have a look at the other veggies. Everything here seems perfect it's dried it's ready for me to go ahead and get it in their respective containers and bags 
Um, this one, the water is almost gone. So, and then the lettuce as well, a lot of the water has been absorbed. So I can go ahead and pack those away. So I did promise I would show you guys what I got from HomeSense, which I have right here. And I got, this is what I went for and I'm really happy that I got it. It's the smaller version to what I have right now that I keep my lettuce and spinach and stuff in. So I got two of these. It's the Vegetable Keeper by All, Kitch All Things Kitchen. And it was $8.99. There's the other one. Same, the, how much is this? This is 1.65 liters or 1.75 quart. And then this one is a bigger one. It's four quarts or 3.75 liters. And this is the one I was looking for. There's another size actually. This was a price. This one's $14.99. There's actually another size to this, which is really nice. But because I have the ones um, that are like this already, I just kind of wanted to stick with the same size. And I like that these actually stack. I don't know if you guys can see, but they do stack on top of it nicely. Or even if I wanted to stack these like this and put something else here, I have the ability to do that. So this helps me keep everything nice and organized. And then the last thing that I got is a smaller handle for my bathroom cupboard. This one is $6.99. It's an over-the-cabinet towel bar. And I don't know why I called it a handle, sorry. I think it's because I use them like I do handles. So I'll take the one that's in there out because that's the one that I had for the kitchen and I'll replace it with this one. Okay guys, so the last time you would have seen me make my drink, I was using the blender. A lot of things have changed since then. Now I'm using this blender bottle that my mom got for me from HomeSense. And this is what it looks like. They have the little blender ball in there, something like that. There's my OptiFast. If you guys are interested in learning about the OptiFast itself, stay tuned because I am going to have a video talking a lot about that and how it works and what you do and how you take it. This is the chocolate one, which is my preference. I don't like the vanilla as much, but I'll go into those details in another video. And then I just add my water to it. And I do have to take my vitamins, so I just have to make sure and do that. And I also add ice. I do like it chilled. I find it just tastes a lot more um, refreshing that way. So I'm going to add some ice. Okay. Then I'm going to put that there. And I keep my <laughs> some of my vitamins in a TikTok tic -tac container. So that is just easy for me when I'm going to work to throw it into my purse and not have to worry about it. I don't like the pill containers at all. I find them really big and bulky. That also fits nicely in the pocket of a jacket or even pants. It's comfortable. And the chocolate does taste like um, chocolate milk, actually. That's it, nicely done, all blended. Now I'll take my vitamins. And I'll see you all in the very next video.